Hey man, lately I've been in a funk. I feel like everything is slipping. I feel like I'm not where I should be. Like I'm not who I'm meant to be. I'm seeing all these other people getting ahead and I'm here feeling like I'm running without ever really moving forwards. I'm on this continuous conveyor belt stuck in no man's land, stuck in limbo. And I'm tired. This isn't where I was meant to be or who I was supposed to be. And, and the deepest feeling that I have is, why, why am I still here? But in all of that frustration, and in the friction of that pain, a deep, dark part of me speaks and says, is that the best you've got? Have you genuinely given it your all? Did you truly go all chips in? And to be honest, to be really honest with you, a quiet, shameful voice is whispering, no, no, I haven't. Our society celebrates conquerors and shame surrender. But what if I told you surrender can actually be a powerful, empowering thing? What if by surrendering, we actually find acceptance? And in that acceptance, we become the conquerors that we're seeking. Now, I'm not talking about giving up. Let me be clear. I'm talking about the kind of surrender that is about surrendering to the process Surrendering to the work, the art, the art of being studious. Vedic philosophy talks about this, that when a man sets aside his pride and he abandons his ego, only then can he truly begin with earnestness, the journey of self-development and spiritual growth. In other words, when you reach your lowest point, we become opened to the greatest change. I'm not surprised that I am where I am. And you shouldn't be surprised you're getting the results you're getting. Because what worked for you then, it's not gonna work for you now. And amongst the darkness and demons of doubt, what you and I, what we need to realize is that we are social machines built, but also programmed to repeat patterns. And in the early days, these new patterns that we find or adopt, they bring us the excitement of new results. When you do something new, it gives you a new fix, a new result. But over time, these things decay. And it's your job to keep continually defining yourself, to abandon and then enlighten our old selves. The shedding of one shell into the next and the next and the next for lifetimes. The only constant in all of this is that things are impermanent. So don't hold on to what is. Life is like a river and the waters that are still that you are trying to hold on to are the same waters that crash and swirl around you. So change, change. And if you want to win, if you want to succeed, if you want to go beyond this, the choice isn't to exit, it's to engage. You need to sit down and have an honest conversation with yourself about the kind of life you want to live, the kind of human being that you want to be, the sacrifice and investment that you are going to have to make in order to get there. And above all else, above all else, what are the things that you are going to personally get fulfillment from? So stay away from social media for a time if you need to. Focus on the goal, focus on the mission, Focus on the vision. Don't chase things because you think it might mean that people rate you more. I want you to rate you more. I want you to do it for you and nobody else because that's what real success is. That's a real like. Not the kind that you get from your feed, but the kind that you get from the beating of your own heart, your own drum. And remember, it's okay not to know or to have it all figured out. You don't need a grand map of your reality and your future. Your path, it's made by walking it. So take it one step at a time. Take it one moment at a time. Have micro goals. Sometimes in life you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but you just gotta keep moving forward. And I promise you, you will come to a better place.
You can spend hours looking for the best phone or the best dress or the best shoes or the fanciest car, but those things, they're not gonna bring you anything but a bill. So instead, if you spend those same hours investing in yourself, I can guarantee you'll get something from it. Growth, ideas, insights every day. And this, this is what this wonderful life of yours is all about. The process of constantly becoming yourself.